Episode 3 of Blood Coast begins with a lawyer called Jaborska entertaining some guests at dinner. When he head down to his office, he helps himself to some drugs, but he's stopped by a masked man, Lies, who shows and demands he open the safe. He's not interested in the money, though. Lies grabs the files and takes off. However, Alice Vidal happens to be watching from afar. These files include details surrounding a case from seven years ago involving someone called Serge Lafont. He's a small-time pimp that was found burnt in a car. There's also a statement from a prostitute who was killed six months back, too. Is this enough to pressure Pareto? Regardless, word of Foodle's death spreads over to the team, who show up at Ali's place and ask for a statement. When they leave, Ali calls his contact Tobias, who shows and looks set to turn the tables. Alice speaks to Lies about what she saw the previous night at the lawyer's house. He admits that his sister died of an overdose when he was younger, and that's why he's in the narcotics team. Alice tells him she's not his enemy, and she's certainly not Miranda's lackey either. It's enough for Lies to give a small lifeboat to her, coming in the form of meeting Pareto with him in an hour's time. Meanwhile, Bakery goes missing. Tattoo is worried that this could be due to the intel he gave up last episode surrounding Biggie. While half the team head off to try 